Hi there folks and in this video I'm going to be talking about forums and specifically forum plugins. I've just recently done a fantastic article on the WP Tonic website. There'll be links to that article in the description notes of this video. Go there. It's um, I cover about 12 plugins that you can utilize to start a forum on your website. Now with WP Tonic, we have an emphasis on hosting and supporting learning management system, i.e. if you want a membership site to sell your course. Um, so we have found that a lot of our clients are interested in having their own forum hosted on their own website. Now you might be surprised this because you know, I think almost anybody would be, um, when you talk about a, a forum, a group, they think of Facebook at the present moment. And Facebook groups are fantastic in their own right, but they do have their own limitations as well. Number one is that you don't own the content. You know, you can make a, a Facebook group private um so it's invite only but fundamentally that content isn't under the direct your direct control it's under the control and copyright ownership of facebook now when it comes to building your own membership site that's a problem because fundamentally the intellectual property is the thing that you're really selling. You're selling that and community. So number one, um, you lose your intellectual property by posting content on Facebook. And secondly, you're building community on somebody else's platform. So they're the two fundamental problems uh, around using Facebook. Um, but on the other hand, what you have to understand is that any of these plugins that I discuss in my article, and I'm going to be discussing a couple of the most popular in this video, is it's extremely a lot of hard work running a forum on your own website. It has to be more administrated. Um, you have to observe what's being said on the forum and you have to um, to get a forum really going and having a life of its own does really need a lot of nurturing from the owner of the website but isn't that the same almost with any kind of business activity um, to get the ball rolling takes a lot of hard work and perfect and um, preserva preservation just you know, it just does take a lot of hard work. Now, what are some of the best solutions? Now, you know, you've got BB Press, which is the kind of grandfather of forums. And if you go to wordpress.org um, in the support um, areas and other parts of wordpress.org, they are run on uh, modified versions of BB Press. Now, um, it's totally free. Um, one of the problems with it is it is very bare bones. The, the amount of functionality and the basic look of the forums and the functionality looks a bit dated now. Um, one of the good things about BB Press is that it will work with most themes um, and it won't, um, it will take on the themes, colours, preset colours, fonts. It normally works with most reasonably quality themes out there. And it will work with most page builders, um, Animator or, or native Gutenberg. Now, the next one that's very popular, and I'm not going to, in this video, I'm not going to tell you which one is what I consider the best, 
you have to go to the website and see what I say about that. But another really popular one is Buddy Boss. Now, Buddy Boss is based on BB Press, but the um, the people behind Buddy Boss um, took it to a stage further and fundamentally modernised it. It's become a, a very popular solution um, if you're looking to build a forum on WordPress. Um, one of the problems with it is though, is that um, it comes in two parts. It comes with a plugin and it comes with a theme. Now, you, the actual plugin is freely available, but to get that kind of modern quasar kind of WordPress group or that kind of modern look that which is what people really like you really only get that by also purchasing the theme so when you get the plugin and theme it's the actual theme that provides that layout that modern look and you have to pay for that but the problem is is that you've got to run that theme and that theme is designed for a forum so you can't have two themes on your website running at the same time so um it's basically um to have a learning management system you can um set up pages in the buddy boss theme and um they look totally fine um i would say that um it integrates at the present moment with learn dash a bit more than nift lms but that is more down to that the people behind um buddy boss have spent more time integrating it but if you want like your own custom home page you want your about pages and that that doesn't actually they don't provide templates for those type of pages inside the theme. You can use Alimator with Buddy Boss to build those out. Or what we do for a lot of clients is that we put Buddy Boss on a separate subdomain and then we use, um, there are some plugins, there's about two to three plugin solutions you can put on both sides where when somebody signs in to join um, a course on the main site, their login decent details, um, user details are migrated automatically to the database and the, um, that is running um, Buddy, um, Buddy Boss. So basically, um, unfortunately long-winded, but what I'm trying to get to the point is that it stops you having to have two separate logins. You log into one website and then they can literally be taken to the other side and they're automatically logged in. Um, the beauty of doing that is um, you can have your marketing, your marketing, your membership, your learning management system on one website and you can have the forum and the social integration um, changing the colors so they match the main website on a, on a subdomain so it's i wouldn't say you know some people don't like that idea but we've found it to be an effective solution and then um, later on you might decide to have um, the body buddy boss theme highly modified so you can merge the two websites into one one of the problems with that also is um, that's a lot of things going on in one website so the actual hosting requirements are quite high if you've got any form of membership buddy boss setup that's got a reasonable membership level 
I, you, you'll find it fine to set up on cheap hosting and everything will look, oh, it's all working. The first day that you go public and you get five, 10, 15, 20, hopefully 20 or more people signing up for your membership site, the whole thing will collapse very rapidly. Um, it will, it's, it basically hasn't been what is called stress tested, which any form of membership site should go through where you, um, you basically try and sign up 10, 20 people in one or two hours with test accounts and you stress test your hosting and you'll find most of the cheaper hosting solutions they will just totally collapse um, under any kind of normal um, stress test. Now, um, the last one, um, there are a number of other plugins. That, um, another one that comes to mind that's pretty good is Simple Press. Um, I do like that. It's got a more modern look than BB Press, and it it's mod. It comes with some basic um, templates that you can use with your main theme of your website. And then it has modules that can add functionality that are about $99 each. I quite like it, it but to be in fairness, it hasn't got the looks that um, Buddy Boss has. Hopefully this video has been of some usefulness to us. If it is, subscribe to the dub. What you can do to help me is subscribe to the WP Tonic site. Give me a thumbs up and also go to and go to the article that goes through almost 12 um, plugins that are offered that can offer you a forum functionality. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.